Right now, Israel and Hamas matching missile for missile. The death toll in the hundreds and thousands of people are injured. Prime Minister Netanyahu declaring war and wasting little time retaliating. Rockets from Israel shot down a 14-story building in the well-known Palestinian city, Gaza. Then near the Gaza Strip, a battle is ongoing with Israeli troops and the Hamas. Now, the leader of Hamas's military wing said there are several reasons for this attack. One being in response to the 16-year blockade of Gaza. Another is for increasing attacks by settlers on Palestinians. And here locally, families with loved ones there in Israel are in constant contact with one another. Our Luke Laster joins us now. So, Luke, I know you've been talking to locals that have families there. Just overall, what are they saying? Terrell, they're, they're on edge, really? to say the least. Uh, you know, I caught up with an Ann Arbor resident today, Neely Lakin. He just got back, actually, from visiting his sister in mm -hmm. Israel. And as you might imagine, folks, his phone hasn't left his side. I've been glued to the TV and calling everybody ever since. Neil Eliakin hasn't moved much from his chair since hearing the news early Saturday morning after an overnight attack by Hamas against Israel. My sister is updating me almost hourly on what's going on. Um, you know, she has friends all over the place as well because she's lived in Israel for 50 years. Eliakin's sister Iris and family friends of decades are in Israel. He says they are safe, some having to take shelter. Right now, no one we know has been per primarily affected um, or injured or, or, or killed, but many have. Um, so we're just keeping track of things very carefully. Eliakin says he hears the tension and nerves in all of his loved ones' voices when he talks to them over the phone. My friends in Tel Aviv, they're anxious and they're nervous. Uh, my friend's son is in the IDF, and he was called up, so we, we don't know what's going, you know, he's, he can't let us know, you know, he's, he's out of um, conversations with us, so um, we don't know what's got going on with him, but we're nervous about him. You know, is he in Gaza? Is he, you know, is he there? Is he involved in this? Um, as are many, many, many um, reservists and active duty soldiers. Now, as you might imagine, this is something that is developing minute mm -hmm. by minute, hour by hour, Terrell. So we'll be continuing to keep you updated on air and online, cbsnewsdetroit.com. Definitely a surreal story just hearing that man's testimony. Of course, thanks you for bringing us that story, Luke. Thanks, Terrell.